Happy spring, green thumbs. My name is Brandon, here to do another video. And today I wanted to show everyone how you can recycle last year's uh, potting soil with just a few easy ingredients. And if you stick with me, I'll show you just how to do that. All right, we're here today on the very first beautiful warm day of spring and we are gonna get planting. And I figured there is a ton of other people that will be planting too in their containers. And what better way than to recycle last year's spent potting soil just so you can save a few bucks. Let's get to it. So last year I grew in this container a uh, large tomato plant. I'm going to take down about three to four inches. As you can see it's already down a few inches so I actually only have to scrape off a couple inches and I'm going to use that soil for a different container. That's last year's root mass and I'm sure there's plenty of other roots in there. I actually don't mind the roots being in there as it adds a carbon so source, some aeration. You can see we're about four or five inches deep on this container so now we're gonna lay in some amendments and then top dress with some compost and we'll be good to go so you can see a lot of the old roots are still in here uh, if you look close enough you can see maybe not there's my old malted barley grain that got mixed in I always am a big fan of that. I am using something else right now and it does seem to be working out pretty good. So there it is. I'm going to leave it just like that. You can see I did that to my other ones and you can see old root debris. These are from last year. For amendments I have got uh, malted barley grain that you can get from a brewer supply store. Excellent for enzymes, microbes and getting the plants off to a jumping start. It will help break down the uh, insoluble nutrients for your plants. This will do the exact same thing. Uh, this you can get at Fleet Farm. So this is malted barley you can get at the brewing store. This is before they brew the beer. This you can get at Fleet Farm and it's for chicken feed or animal feed. And this is after they've brewed the, the beer. It's the spent brewer's yeast. This has got a ton of uh, micronutrients and food for the fungi and microbes. Uh, the downfall on this one is that the animals will dig it up, but if you use my trick, you won't have that problem. And as you can see, it is chocked full of nutrients, vitamins, amino acids. So you don't need to use both of them, but I would choose one. So it's totally up to you. I'm going to use the sprout because I do seem to get a better response with my plants on that. The one thing on the malted barley is I would shoot for one that's made coming out of Europe just because they have a little bit better farming practices versus the malted barley coming out of the United States. Uh, this obviously probably is uh, from barley that came out of the United States. So horse apiece, but I still find better uh, response out of this. The next option is uh, you're going to need a calcium uh, source basically to balance out the soil and to provide a transport for the nutrients. I like to use crustacean meal because you do get an NPK value out of that, which is roughly like uh, 5, 4, and less than 1 basically on the potassium side. But that's a dual purpose, so I like to use the crustacean meal. Last but least, we need a potassium source. Here you got an option of kelp, uh, wood ash, which is what I got into that bowl right there. And then, or you could use the uh, Sol Po Mag, which you can see here is going to be 0022. So don't take much of this, but that's 22% soluble potash with a lot of magnesium and a little bit of sulfur. This is a 20 gallon container, and I roughly like to put uh, half a cup to a full cup of each one of those ingredients in here. The only one that, if you were using the Sol Po Mag, it would really only be a tablespoon or two. A handful roughly is a quarter cup 
and you're going to want to put the nutrients down first before we put in the compost basically as that will prevent any animals from being interested in wanting to dig up the food source. <coughs> so there is a half a cup of the um, yeast, brewer's yeast. That was a half cup of the crustacean meal. And then the old wood ash, which is high in potas potassium, potash. So there that is. So there it all is. You want to mix it up just a little bit. Not a big deal. All right. And then under my screen, I've got perfectly screened compost. So I screened it into fines and that's going to go on top to finish it off and then we'll plant right in that. All right, now we're topped off with as much compost as I want. Here I got some pickle bush cucumbers that I started in these hydroponic uh, net cups that are meant to go into a five gallon lid. The reason why I do that is cucumbers don't really like to be started early and disrupted with their roots. So I just started them here. And to simply transplant this, I'm gonna go ahead and set it right in there. And then backfill around it. So that's how easy it can be folks. Just a couple cups of fertilizer and I guarantee you that I put less than three dollars worth of nutrients back into here and it's going to get me a whole nother year of growing. If you stay tuned to the channel you'll see plenty of updates. Thanks for watching. I hope you all learned something. Take care. Peace.